Welcome back to Living 808, everybody. Instead of turkey on Thanksgiving, some tables are certain to have wild pig or game birds at the center. Sustainable food production from Hawaii's forests have a very long history, dating back to the early days of human contact. Small game birds and hooved animals like pigs, goats, sheep, and feral cattle feed a lot of mouths. Now, the Department of Land and Natural Resources is mandated to provide hunting opportunities, and our collaborative series with the DLNR, Forest for Life, takes a closer look at how forest feeds us. Saturday morning, somewhere on Oahu, a big group of hunters gathers to hit the trail in search of wild boar. Right now, they're taking their dogs up uh, on the side of this hill, and they let the dog smell up there. There's a, there's a water hole, a wallow, that they take up the dogs up to there. If there's pigs in that area, the dogs will pick up the scent. The first one is there, yeah. Well, if we sit down and come back, we'll yeah. come across the river. They're going to hump that. Yeah, they're going to hump that. Game mammal hunting is seeing a resurgence across the state. On Oahu, membership in the Oahu Pig Hunters Association has increased tenfold in the past few years. It's sports, it's being outside, creating camaraderie for adult hunters, their keiki, and dogs. It's a food the main thing. Wild game from the forest feed many, many families. Smoked meat, sausage, adobo, you name it, they make it. Uh, this one is uh, pork tofu with watercress. We grounded the pork. Pork with uh, undagi, stuffed undagi inside. Um, we also made earlier uh, deer chili. Uh, deer june, I call it. It's like meat june, but with deer. We also got uh, smoked meat and sweet sour and regular soyu. We got uh, sausage from another hunter that um, coming down, Kaleo. A short time later, Kaleo arrives at the wild game feast with another wild pig strapped to his truck. All, all I know is these guys are good cooks and they utilize their meat in good way. So we don't only do deer, I mean pig, we do deer, mouflon, yeah, different invasive species. High inflation contributing to high meat prices accentuates the benefit of sustainable food from our forests, teaching Kiki how to live off the aina, with the added plus of helping to keep invasive species like pigs, goats, and sheep in check. But game mammal hunting is not for everyone. Right now, we're not necessarily um, enhancing game mammal species, but um, that puts more, um, more eyeballs onto the game birds. Imported as day-old chicks from Wisconsin every year, they're raised to adulthood and then released into a state game management area in what is known as a put-and-take system. Uh, I would say the put-and-take system is pretty critical for Oahu. We don't have the exact habitat for, for these game bird species to survive you know for years and years so with this put and take system there's always going to be a guarantee that there is there's going to be game birds out in the field for the guys these animals do not um particularly harmful to the environment so at least impact to the environment and so that's one of the reasons why we really are directing a lot of um money and resources to raise game birds the state DLNR is mandated to provide hunting opportunities as a recreational and food resource for people. Game birds and game mammals provide a uh, resource to the public, and if they're managed in proper areas, uh, in appropriate areas, um, that this can be something that we can have a balance between conservation and having uh, this recreational resource on the landscape. Hunters and fishers are considered the original conservationists. Think Teddy Roosevelt. Their efforts keep sounders of pigs, herds of deer, or trips of goats from literally munching their way across the landscape, destroying native forests and leading to erosion, flooding, and a whole host of negative impacts. On release days, game birds like pheasants and chuckers are put out into hunting areas, where this time of year, lucky hunters could have one or more as a centerpiece of Thanksgiving meals. All good eating birds, yeah. Um, I personally had pheasant uh, before. Pheasants that we've raised, I come out here and hunt with my uncles. 
chuckers. I'm intrigued. I'm I'm planning on coming out and uh, possibly getting a chucker sometime during the season. But yeah, all good eating birds. Lest you think hunters are getting food for free, their licenses and game stamps pay for everything. Moreover, hunters help raise the birds and participate in a variety of habitat restoration and enhancement activities. For more information on hunting opportunities, please visit the DLNR Go Hunt website at dlnr.hawaii.gov slash recreation slash hunting, our year-long series of Forest for Life stories in collaboration with the DLNR continues next month on December 29th with a close-up look at forest that persists. Coming up after the break, we're going to wrap things up and we're going to tell you what we have in store for you on Aloha Friday.